well, the, the right choices, what are they? What are those choices? I think getting into the business, and I, this is a, a generic application because I don't know what your specific, you know, what the, what the individual, but getting into the business is determined anymore by your ability to network. If you can network with a hundred people wanting to get into the business, you go to a workshop, you have an acting coach or an acting teacher who's running a workshop, you go to all the equity shows in wherever you are, equity shows, you know, people uh, on 99 house, uh, seat houses, you w see those shows, you watch those shows, you know, and you go more than once. And you introduce yourself to the cast, you introduce yourself to the director if he's available. That's part of the business of networking. If you don't network, you don't have a chance. Nobody's going to pluck you, you know, out of the... Uh, join the, uh, the extras union, get on a soundstage somewhere, somehow, you know. There's a, but first of all, network, because you, the ideas will just flow. When, you're, when you go out after, after uh, you know, a, a scene night at some place, and you go out and you have coffee with 15, 20 people, and you, and you stay there for two and a half, three hours, uh, you'll get plenty of ideas, and who to call, and what's up, and what's fresh, and what's new, and what's coming up. You'll get all of that. It's very important, too, because we're talking to people involved. Uh, the base of all of this will be Emerson College, of course, or it is Emerson College. But when you think about exactly that, the, the networking, that you, the people that you meet when you, you are in school is... is uh, yeah, keep track. Yeah. Stay close. Keep. It's a funny thing, because I, I, you know, I don't know how you would describe my getting into the business. Uh, I was very, very lucky. I started at the top. Um, but I really started back in the days when I was five, six, seven with my father and his career and the people that he would bring into the house and, and going and watching him and standing backstage. And listen. I mean, I, I went to see uh, Ladies and Gentlemen of the Jury in 1938 with Helen Hayes and uh, Herbert Marshall and, uh, and after the show, you know, uh, was introduced to them and remember shaking Helen Hayes' hand and the, the, the the look she gave me, the contact. I mean, I was seven, eight years, nine years of age. You know, maybe I was in thirty-eight. I was, uh, I was about nine. But she gave me real contact. You know, I, and I haven't forgotten that. You know, uh, it's uh, so. I never had any regional theater experience, and that's incredibly important. You know, whenever I've done a play uh, regionally, uh, Toronto, Calgary, um, Chicago, uh, uh, Muncie, uh, the, 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 the act, acting, uh, the, the available actors, oh, geez, I did The Father of the Bride in, uh, at the new theater in Kansas City. The, the actors were superb. You would be amazed at the number of places that support a brilliant community of actors. It's not just New York and, and L.A. It isn't. You know, you could do a play in Syracuse and be astounded at the talent that, that you, 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 you meet, you bump into. Um, so I, I, I've gotten plenty of experience now at this point in my career with regional theater and uh, and uh, and national tours, uh, but that's very very important. You know, if you can if you can tie into a, a regional theater or a, a regional tour originating in New York, even if you're not an actor, as an understudy, as as a stagehand, do it, do it. You, you just uh, um, it's amazing. We are we. In '97, I toured for a year uh, in Hal, uh, for Hal Prince in uh, Showboat. I played Andy, Captain Andy. Anita Gillette played Parthi. Uh, we had a cast of 82 
okay? It took four days to load out. It took two days to load in. It was an enormous thing, uh, undertaking. Uh, the, I forget the actual numbers, but the, the black ensemble was 32 players, and the white, on, the white ensemble was maybe 22, 23 players, and the acting cadre was maybe another 18 people. You know, uh, I have never in my life heard such brilliant voices, seen such magical dancing. I mean, I, I didn't know who these people were. Where the hell, where the hell did they find this kind of talent? You know, it's there. It's there. And they all had a start. Someplace. 